guys and welcome back to my channel. I've created this look for you today. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for more tutorials so I wanted to do them for you. It's a flawless base with a really glamorous eye with false eyelashes. So if you want to see how to create this look then just keep on watching. Okay so I've already moisturised my face and I used Embryolis Leg Creme Concentrate. So now I'm going to use the Photo Finish Primer by Smashbox. I'm just going to dot that all over my skin and I'm going to smooth that out with my fingers. For this look I'm going to start off with foundation and I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I'm mixing NC41 and NC20 together to get my shade. And I mix my foundation with a Real Techniques pointed foundation brush and I apply it with this brush as well so I just get some all over the skin and then I blend with a beauty blender okay so I'm just gonna blend it out with this and the concealer I'm using today is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour concealer this concealer is actually amazing. I have no idea why it's not hyped about on YouTube. It just, it does crease but just a little bit. I mean, I don't think I've found a concealer that doesn't crease at all. You just have to set your concealer. So for highlight I'm using the Anastasia concealer and this is in 1.5 and I'm using my pointed foundation brush for this as well. I'm just taking a little bit of product on the brush because this is really really pigmented. So I'm just going to highlight just in like the centre of my cheeks I'm not going to drag it up today. and the rest of the high points of my face as well. I'm going to blend in my highlight with a MAC 130 Duo Fibre Brush. This brush is amazing for blending out um, concealer or highlight or any cream or liquid product it's like airbrushing the skin as I blend it in and with whatever's left on the brush I can bring that along here I'm gonna set my concealer and highlight under my eyes with the Anastasia Contour Kit Powder in Banana and I'm using a Eco Tools Tapered Blush Brush for this Okay, before I contour I'm gonna set my the rest of my face with powder as well and this is uh, the Studio Fix Powder and this is an NC40 I'm just going to pack this on. Okay, to contour I'm going to use Havana from Anastasia Beverly Hills and my Royal Angle Contour Brush. I'm just going to fill in my brows now with the Anastasia Brow Wiz and this is in dark brown. I'm just going to brush through my brows with the spoolie end and then with the other side I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas.
start off with the eyes, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is in Eden. There is a colourless one as well, but because I have um, like a little bit of darkness on my eyelids, I just like using Eden to cancel it out. So I'm just taking this on my ring finger. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit just to get rid of any lumps or bumps. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and sometimes I feel like soft ochre or painterly or just a little bit too dry to work with so now that the primer is on I'm gonna use this warm brown color this one right here and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade so that's just gonna go above my crease and I'm just gonna put that on with a 217 by MAC So now that the transition shade is on, I'm going to deepen up the crease a little bit and this, I'm going to take this colour here and I think this is Mocha from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to put that on the tip of my 217 and I'm just going to concentrate this in the crease. So now that our crease is done, I'm going to take this colour right here. This is Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and this I'm going to use all over the lid. I'm going to use this Barry M Glitter Dust and this is in the colour 15 going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to take what's on the lid, tap off the excess and then whatever's on the brush I'm going to spray that with my all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. And this is just going to go on top of the eyeshadow that we just put on. Okay, to deepen up the look, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow. I'm using this one here. This is Corrupt from Makeup Geek. And I'm using this on a flat brush. I'm just going to put this in the outer corners and wing it out a little bit. And to blend that out, I'm going to use my 217 from MAC. I am going to put on... I'm basically going to do the same thing I did on the top, on the bottom. So, I'm going to take my 217 and the transition shade we used before. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and that's going in my waterline. This is in perversion. And I'm just going to tight line as well. For my eyeliner I'm using this Rimmel gel liner in black and a Sigma EO5 eyeliner brush. So that's my eyeliner kind of kind of there. I'm gonna just um, darken it up with my L'Oreal Super Liner. This gives a really nice black precise line. I'm 
So I'm going to curl my eyelashes now and then apply Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara in the waterproof formula. I'm going to put these uh, Huda Beauty lashes on. These are in Giselle. I'm going to do this off camera because I don't think I'll be able to do it on camera. So that's the eyelashes on. I'm going to use Gingerly by MAC today. I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle. And this is a Oil Techniques contour brush. I'm just going to use a little bit of that on my the tip of my nose. For my lips, I'm going to use my New Look lip liner in. This is number 72. So I filled in my whole lip with this lip liner as well to add some moisture and gloss this is a Bobbi Brown High Shimmer Lip Gloss in Bellini number 14 these lip glosses smell like toothpaste <laughs> but it's nice and they tingle So that is the completed look guys, I hope you all enjoyed or learnt something from it. I really liked creating this look because I haven't used false lashes in many videos I don't think. So um, yeah, I really liked it, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. We have a bit of a situation.